It is in the place of prayer that the 10 year plan of your destiny will be downloaded. Sometimes you will pray till you fall asleep. That sleep was not slumber. Activating the gift of sight. What does it take to activate this blessing? Ah. Nizambika. Nizambika. Kainegaskia. Nizambika. Nizambika. Kainehaskena. Nizambika Ya Yesu kaine haskera In the kabi In the kabi Ya Yesu Listen, there are three keys I want to hand to you now. I want to show you how to activate the seeing eye. Number one, praying in the spirit. Write it down. There is nobody who invests quality, consistent time praying in the spirit who will not receive this gift of the seeing eye. Whether you misuse it or not, is another thing but as far as seeing is concerned it is a grace that goes with praying show me a man that has committed himself to the ministry of prayer I show you a seer indeed praying in the spirit and when you begin to pray the spirit of God starts to search the mind of the father and downloads for you the things that eyes have not seen the things that ears have not heard the things that have not come into the heart of any man invest time praying and see what happens to your dreams and visions invest time praying and see what happens to your creativity and intelligence and your imagination invest time praying and see what happens to you as far as the capacity to draw insight from the world. Invest time praying and you will show me, I will show you the prophetic activations that happen in your life. Hallelujah. Can I tell you? A worship minister who only sings and does not pray, when they sing, you will know the difference. You will know that this person is just singing. I don't care how nice the voice is. You will know this person is just ad leaping and just singing. There is a stability that your prayer life gives every other thing you do. A businessman who prays, the difference will be clear. A career person who prays, the difference will be clear. A man of God who studies scripture and prays, the difference will be clear. A worshiper who prays, when he sings, the difference will be clear. There are many people who raise songs and you almost feel irritated. You're like, please just finish and go. Because there is no presence. There is a sound that your prayer life gives everything that you do. You cannot fake a genuine prayer life. It's not by the huskiness of your voice. Uh -uh. There is a presence, there is a stamina, there is a confidence, a stability that comes from within your spirit. For someone, God is fanning your prayer altar. 
Ah, you need it. You need it. You need it. It is connected to your eyes. Your prayer altar is connected to your eyes. Your prayer altar is connected to your eyes. Yes, sir. You want to do end time ministry? Five minutes prayer? Ten minutes prayer? Save Johnny. You will reverse by yourself in shame. You want to see? You must learn to pray. Generate energy as you pray in the spirit. Yes, sir. Male and female, educated or otherwise, when it has to do with the gift of sight, ladies and gentlemen, it is connected to a rich, consistent discipline of the prayer ministry. There are many people is in the place of prayer that certain melodies will come in the spirit. You will start hearing sounds. You will write them. It's in the place of prayer that certain sermons that were not even rehearsed, scriptures will come to you. It is in the place of prayer that the 10 year plan of your destiny will be downloaded. Sometimes you will pray till you fall asleep. That sleep was not slumber. It was Adam's kind of sleep because something needs to come out of you. Ladies and gentlemen, laziness in the area of prayer is a cancer that would destroy many Christians. You must obtain grace by the Spirit to be a man and a woman of consistent prayer. I'm talking of moments where you invest quality time. You are not asking, not tea, not bread. You are just traveling. It's a cruise in the Spirit. And the flesh may be weak, but you are still gaining ascendance. You will hit an escape velocity in the spirit, and the heavens are open, and you will start receiving things. Something happens to your mind, something happens to your understanding of scripture. Do you believe what I'm sharing with you? Listen, if you are not filled with the Holy Ghost, with evidence of praying in fluent tongues. Well, I'm praying you receive that impartation. But you see, one of the reasons why we designed our prayer department is an opportunity. There are people who have been trained, mighty anointed men and women who will administer the baptism. The baptism of the Holy Spirit is not for Pentecostals. It is not for charismatics. It is one of the manifestations of the hidden wisdom of God. He said, but we speak this wisdom among them that are mature. Not the wisdom of this world that comes to naught. Nor of the princes of this world. He calls it the hidden wisdom of God that was ordained for our glory. He said, you shall receive power. Acts 1.8. In Acts chapter 2, they receive tongues. There is a relationship between that which you utter in the spirit and the opening of your eyes and the gift of sight. Is someone learning? The generation that knows how to pray with understanding will be a seen generation indeed. Tremendous insight in ministry. Tremendous creativity by the spirit.